and incarceration. When we consider art and incarceration, this originally sounds like an oxymoron, a stunning incongruity. But in fact, these drab, colorless human storage boxes are bursting with art. For those with an eye to see, the arts are bursting through like sunlight on Easter morning. There is a stunning amount of talent hidden behind these walls, more than even I believed. We should not be surprised that many young men see themselves as rappers, for rap, hip-hop, is their dominant form. And if you mingle amongst men under 30, you'll hear the sing-song rhythms of rap songs, either repeating the work of someone in videos or someone's original composition. A rap is, well, rap. It is a truly democratic art form, and everyone thinks they're the next Biggie or the next Tupac, but that isn't all. I've seen men play piano keyboards with tenderness, grace, and immense talent. For some men, a keyboard is just an instrument for making beats, beds to rap over. Others play R&B standards, Stevie Wonder, The Temptations, and the like. And still others play songs of their own composition, works of considerable imagination, of sweetness and light. Some guys play for the prison chapel, accompanying sermons or gospel songs. That this incredible talent exists here is all the more remarkable because there is no music class here. Men either learn from other men or they simply teach themselves through trial and error or study from books. A story for you. There's a young man here who, like many men his age, loves music, although he's never studied it nor played an instrument. He's been told almost his whole life that he's learning disabled. As a consequence, he has difficulty reading. A few months ago, he acquired a keyboard. He produced three beats the first night. Within a few weeks, he and his cellmate recorded a song with a catchy hip-hop beat, but above it all, flowing in and about, was a remarkable jazz solo, the light, airy sound of a soprano saxophone. It wasn't just good, it was excellent, and it sounded like something you'd hear on the radio. I asked, who played that? He answered, I did. I asked, how did you do that? Where did it come from? He said, I heard it. I asked, what do you mean, heard it? On the radio? He replied, no, man, I heard it, like, in my head. I was stunned. And yet, incarceration unleashes hidden talents in those encaged. I've seen drawings in pencil or pen paintings in watercolor or acrylic, even sculptures of truly amazing craft, skill, and vision, artworks that could proudly be exhibited in any gallery or museum in America made by prisoners, and poetry to make you wonder or weep. Hidden behind brick and steel, in shadowed cell, alone, in twilight, art lives. Art is that which makes us human. And in this place, in this most inhuman of places, art yet lives. Colorful, resplendent, original, magical echoes of creativity, and yet it lives. From Imprisoned Nation, this is Mumia Abu Jamal. These commentaries are recorded by Noel Hanrahan of Prison Radio.